everyone, welcome to another installation of the Row Review. I want to talk about the banana bag today. And um, the banana bag is shaped like a banana. Really reminds me of an updated fanny pack and I love a good fanny pack. They're convenient, they're hands-free, they're light. That's what I would say about this bag. Convenient, hands-free and light. The leather on this one is smooth. The strap is leather as well and it's flat. And so there's no rubbing, no pulling against fabrics. It's very comfortable. And the leather, the bag itself is not heavy weighted. So when you get your contents in, it's not going to weigh you down. It seems to be absolutely the right size for a pick up and go with your wallet, your keys, your mask. I'll show you I, I can, what I can get in it. My Bottega wallet, which is a small version, uh, gum, masks for those of you that watch my hair video you know i don't travel without my hairspray so there it is but i i will swap out the small wallet and show you that my trusty larger brunello also goes in and the beautiful part about this is that the bag doesn't look overstuffed you know when you see bags that are just bursting which is what i used to do my poor celine trio it was it's just been traumatized i really really jammed things into that bag to the point where it was ready to burst uh, this can take it, withstand it, and it holds its shape, and it, it's just really nice. The larger size is quite a bit larger, so I will put them. I'll put them side by side for you to, to see. This is the large, and this is the small. So quite a bit of a difference. Oddly enough, when I put them on, I I don't feel the larger bag is overwhelming. Maybe others might tell me it is, but I like that look, so it doesn't bother me at all. The leather is very similar to the small, except it seems like the larger one, the green, nah, it's pretty similar. It's a little smoother. For, it, that could just be a function of the fact that this is a little older. The one difference, they both have silver hardware. The one difference on this bag, the larger one, is that the strap is fabric. It's not leather. I didn't know that when I got it. I, it arrived and I thought there must have been a mistake, but it's indeed fabric, but again, flat and comfortable. It's going to wear well. I think it's well made. I don't think it's going to fray. Only time will tell. It fits a lot more, obviously, because of the size. This is a great bag if you don't want to carry a tote with you. If I'm going shopping and I'm out and I just have my banana, I often find I need a tote. The price was for the small one retail $18.90 and I have seen them come up for resale. So the pricing here is around $1,800. This is $22, $21.90 in that, in that range. And it's a lot more bag and not a lot more buck. So that's why maybe this is a better purchase. But the problem is getting your hands on this bag now. I have found it was restocked at Essence. They do it, the new color that's um, been issued is that really luxurious deep burgundy and that gorgeous cream those have been reissued essence carries them and Saks carries the ivory the cream there is a price difference essence has the bag at around 2500 us and Saks has the bag at 2190. Saks only has the cream but both the bags are the same i'm not really sure what that price difference is all about it could have something to do with the buy and what they paid it also could have something to do with the market. I really don't know. So that there is a bit of a price difference. And I spoke to my rep at the row and asked whether this bag would be continued into the fall. They'd be bringing it back in black. And he said, yes, but not in leather. He said, the large banana will be done in nylon. The nylon banana is going to be part of a travel series of bags that will include totes. It's a, it's a whole collection of nylon bags, which would be nice because they'll be even lighter and hopefully a little more reasonably priced. I really love this bag. I think both of them work nicely for me. I would say if you had to pick between the two and you're taller than I am, and that by the way has been a question I have been getting more recently, more often for some reason, I'm only five foot two. I know I, I look a little taller and I think it has a lot to do with the angle of the camera. I don't mind a heavy bag. I love, my oversized bags. I recently have, I added an Hermes Cali to my collection, which was very kindly gifted to me by my husband. And it is the 35. It's the large one. I would never, I shouldn't say never. 
I don't want the small one. I know that's all the rage and what everyone is coveting and the prices for the smaller bags seem to be much higher, but I've always wanted the larger bags. That's, that's where I fell in love with it. And that's what I think goes with my lifestyle and my more casual laid back style, if you will, it lends itself to a bigger bag. So if I had to choose and could only get one, I would have just purchased the large. The story on the large is I did just buy it recently, but it was from a boutique that had ordered a couple and one was set aside and I, I ended up getting it. I was very lucky. I don't think, I haven't seen anyone else do a reorder in the black, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So just as I got lucky and picked this up recently, it may show up in the black. All I know right now for sure is it's available in the cream and the burgundy. Um, I would, because we're heading into spring and summer, it's one of those things that's a bit tricky, right? If it comes up in the large, do I get it? Because am I comfortable wearing a large bag like that around in the summer when it, just the look of it might make you feel hot? I would say it's more of a fall bag. I don't think I'll be walking around with this a lot in the spring summertime but i i don't buy bags like this short term i buy them with you know are they going to go the distance well i think that this is a really nice understated bag and that is my banana bag review